So today, actually every day, is, is a daily Blitz Arena. But I'll be playing this tournament. It's two hours of five minute Blitz. And I figured that I'll play a different Gambit every game. And this will just be my, my Gambit list. Welcome to those of you joining early. Have Black in the first game. Imrose and Illuminati. Oh, thank you. M day for Prez. Uh, I gotta start with a Stafford, right? Stafford Gambit time. It's kind of risky. His opponent's higher rated than me. Only plays Blitz and Classical. Or Blitz and Rapid. But we have the yeah, main position of Stafford. Playing H5. There's also G5 or B5. But, uh... Yeah, I'm... I'm going to try and at least get a playable position. White's playing actually a very good line, like H3 and Queen E2. I think is usually what the engine recommends. Hey, thank you, Blunder Pro. King's Gambit. Let's go. I could try and deliver on that. Can I go for Queen D7, castling Queen side? Queen D7 prevents White from castling. Uh, because the rook's tied down to defending the pawn. Knight D1, wow. Uh so White wants to play this and this. I would like to be aggressive here. I think I'll start with this move and C3 I'll play this and maybe even C4 later. Control the D3 square. We have an interesting, it's kind of like a high level Stafford. Like White's playing very prophylactically, but a little bit passively. And I'm down upon, but I got my pieces developed, ready to Queenside Castle. White was threatening some annoying a5. So d3, that makes sense. It's castle. Okay, I see a lot of uh, a lot of people's favorite gambits being shared in chat. Quack. Welcome back, Mark Valoy. Yeah, c5. Uh, c5 makes some sense. From's gambit four move. Oh no, my queen works every time. Ooh. I'm thinking this move too. But I don't want to remove my queen from. Uh, let's just put a rook in the center. Also, there's some really loud, like, drilling going outside my window, but I hope the sound's okay. I'm using a noise suppression filter, so um, hopefully there's not too much annoyances. Knight c3, okay. Uh, maybe bishop bishop d4. If takes, I take with queen, and then find a square on b4 for the queen. Sound is good. Okay, good to hear. And good to see. F4. White's playing this well. I have this move. So F5 was a threat. I probably want to play king b8, following the Ben Feingold rule. Queen's eye castling is unexpected. So here I can take and um, maybe go into the a3 square. I'm also allowing for this maneuver, going after the pawn. It's risky because white's going to have a massive center, but... Hey, nice chess. Oh, thank you, PBK Live. I'm trying to play nice chess. Currently, we're playing down a pawn chess. Because that's the nature of Stafford Gambit. Uh, if I play this, a bishop will take. I think king b8. It's slow and steady, but not too slow. Wait, what? White giving back a pawn? Oh, tactics. I'm in trouble. Or am I? 
I'm in trouble. That was clever. Yeah, this move's coming. Or not. <laughs> I'm so flustered by White's moves. So there is this pressure. Um, there's also this threat, which is massive now. So how do I defend? Do I have a defense? Hi again, Eric. Hi again. Oh, I'm in trouble. There. I'm thinking this and then b6. I mean, c6 is left very, very vulnerable. But what else to do? This could end really, really badly. If this, I have 95. Oh, I meant to play, I should play b6 first. I guess I'm allowing check here, here, knight b8. Or that move first. But now I have 95. And if this, I, I fork. Oh, but e5 is not defended. But white's taking time. Yeah, this is just really bad for me. Uh... Do I resign? Let's play this move. What? Rook b5? What's this move? Rook b5 is insane. I'm going to lose my queen. The hope is to get like some compensation. Bishop takes c6. What is White doing? Very strange play. Because <laughs> uh, there are so many like simple ways to win. Am I just losing here? I might just be losing. I have this move though. Problem is king a... Let's try this. I have 22 seconds. King a1, rook d1. Bishop c1. Absolutely crazy play. Okay, I I could have resigned. That was such a weird game. Especially the finish. Rook b5, top move. Bishop c6, well, it's like, how do you... <laughs> and that was made in 10 after... Oh, this is already force mate. Hello, everyone. Wow. Yeah, because... The simple move is to take the queen and be up a queen. But bishop takes e6 as made in 14. So... <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, to play like king a1, bishop c1 too. Uh, wow. Hello, Eric. Greetings from right down the road in Memphis. Oh, greetings. Greetings from St. Louis. I think this was an example of how to refute the Stafford Gambit. Hello, Eric. I have a challenge for you. In a rapid game, 
Potes Gambit against me, bit Hevitz, 1400 on leeches, Ooh. as soon as possible in the opening. If you win, I'll gift 5 subs. If I win, you promote my YouTube channel. Okay, um, I might be down for that, but I'm a little bit preoccupied here, playing against a King's Gambit. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have time to check the previous game too closely, but definitely requires some maybe uh, investigation analysis. Um, anyway, let's... I mean, do I go for... I'm trying to play a Muzio, but I don't think this is how you play the Muzio. I played this move, 96, takes and then takes. Uh, okay, I'm so tilted from the last game. I'm going, going a little bit insane this game. Is the count closed now? Really? Cool on dragon, dragon, wow. dragon, 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 dragon. I don't know if I get rating refund if they like beat me and then close the account before they get uh, flagged for uh, for engine use, or maybe did they get flagged and then they close the account? Um, yeah, it was a pretty obvious uh, engine user. I usually don't like I don't accuse someone until it's like confirmed, but yeah, what to do? King e7. Okay, so uh, what is this position? I want to play b3. I think I'll play b3 with a sneaky threat. Hey, I got my rating refund. Let's this move first. Okay, here's my rating refund. Uh, what a way to start the stream. I wonder, I, I guess I still get a zero for the tournament standings because I, I didn't actually win. Um, yeah, it's not too common that I play engine users in Blitz. It happened on their day in classical chess. I should update my Chrome, yeah. Can do that later. Okay, so Bishop A3 was the main idea, but I think I'll play this first. Hey Eric, thanks for all your contents. You're great. Oh, you're great too. Thank you, Phil. Also, thank you. It's me, Maho. I feel like I'm making some progress here. I'm down a piece, but I have almost everything developed. Except my rooks and my king. But I have like sneaky knight moves now, and the queen is tied down to the bishop. Oh yeah, black wants a queen trade. I just want to checkmate the king somehow. Can you play Lucini Gambit? I could try. Haven't played one of those in a while. Now b7's hanging, but then bishop c6. Mm, I think I'll play knight knight e4. Just such a nice square. So I'm playing around the black pawns. Also hitting c5 now three times. And the b pawn is pinned to the rook. And the bishop is pinned to the king. So some nice things happening here. Knight f6. Uh, if I take again Baby. Bishop C6. Thanks for all the awesome entertainment, Eric. You are a legend. Oh, Ever since the start you. of COVID, you made me fall back in love with chess. Nice to hear. Thank you, baby. Trying to figure out what to do here. I want to take. Takes and then take. 
Hit the king, take the queen. It's not so clear, though. And knight 6 was a good move. Oh, if I take... I'm spending a lot of time here, but it's a tricky situation. I think I might just take and castle. And then just leave black pinned in various directions. And the queen is now tied down to this pawn. There is a move queen d6, but then I take and if here I move away. Okay, so we enter that line. Oh, there's a funny line d4. I don't know if it works though, because pawn takes, I was thinking takes, takes, and pin, but it wouldn't be a pin because there's a knight here. Now, what is going on here? I could play c3. Maybe this move? Oh, do we have tea today? No, but we have ice water. <laughs> That's my tea for the day. It's getting warmer in St. Louis. I'm gradually slowing down with warm drinks and transitioning to cold drinks. Oh yeah, this move looks fun now. <laughs> Sacking a lot of things this game. So that could take the pawn, but then I have rook e6. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of pawns because they, they get in the way of my, my pieces. Wait, warm drinks help you keep you cool? What if I'm already cool? This position is kind of cool. Threatening the queen, threatening this check. Although this rook on aid is defended by the bishop. From far away. Long distance relationship. I'm hoping for Queen Z7, then I have made him one. Oh, what was opening this game? It was a King's Gambit. Turned into Falk Bear Counter Gambit, turned into whatever this is. <laughs> I'm realizing the Queen doesn't have a good place to go. Wait, I'm, is the Queen trapped? Oh, the queen's trapped. If it moves here, it's mate. If it moves here, it's skewer. Uh, am I mating? I'll just win the queen. Hello, Eric. Good evening from Vienna. Smile. Oh, good evening from St. Louis. Or good afternoon from St. Louis. <laughs> uh, welcome to Max. Thanks for subbing. I'll take a pawn. Ooh. Okay, now I'll try and rotate my way around. Hi, Eric. Love your content. Oh, I love you too. Thank you, Aquaragola. Thanks for subbing for 10 months. Okay, a lot of things just came off the board. I'll be winning on time. Position is also winning. Oh, can I mate? Ah, okay. Uh, that was a weird game. <laughs> Okay, so the gambit so far, I've played staff or gambit. Oh, it gave me points. I guess that's that's what happens when you lose to someone who uses the engine. Not only did my rating get refunded, but I've 
it counted as a win because opponent was playing unfairly. So Stafford Gambit and uh, whatever I just played, King's Gambit craziness. Okay. I'm still not top 100 because I've had long, more long games. Uh, only played two games so far. A leader has played four. <laughs> okay, I see all the requests in chat. Budapest, Nackmanson. Need some black gambits. Uh, okay, take my pawn. I just want a gambit. Take my pawn. I don't know what this gambit is, but I'm just trying to get rid of my pawn so my pieces have open lines. And now I play this move. Trying to deflect the bishop from defending the knight. I want to play this move next. Uh, this is such a funny opening. I'm threatening to trap the bishop. It's not easy for white to stop this. Hello, Eric. I am your long lost brother. As I am the son of oh. your father and Magnus Carlsen's mother, I will Wait, be what? the best chess player to ever live while exclusively playing the Stafford Gambit. Also, quack. Also, Wait. Bitcoin. So the son of my father is Magnus Carlsen's mother? What? Also, what about Bitcoin? Uh, here, here. I'm not quite trapping the bishop. I don't really want to trade queens. I think I'll start with this and then deliberate. Maybe just calmly, calmly feeding Kato. So these pawns just trap in the knight. Knight wants to develop here, but the pawn is stuck because of this knight. And the knight is blocking the bishop as well. F3, I guess, is logical. Now do I take the bishop? Maybe? But maybe not. There's queen d4. There's knight a6. Maybe I'll play knight a6. Idea knight c5. I'm not playing knight d7 because I want to keep the, the file open for my queen. It's fun having fresh positions from very early on. Okay, uh, I think we'll... Mm, this pawn is kind of... It's kind of tender. I think I'll take this thing first. If takes, I win the knight. If takes, then I I take, and then take, and then castle queenside. And then in the very end, knight b4, and I'm going to be winning the pawn and or the rook. Hey, thank you, Bob Barker. Oh, it's a famous Bob Barker. From, uh... It's Bob from the Gotham stream. I appreciate the gifted subs. I was watching uh, Gotham's analysis on your brilliancies earlier. Bob, AKA Sean. Wait, what do I call you? Bob or Sean? Or Sean Bob? Okay, where's my mate? Everything's pinned. The only thing that can move is the king. I think I'll start with this move. And after this, I'll play this. And white will be completely stuck. It's so funny. White's going to be in Zugzwang. White just has no moves. I'm also just threatening this move. Or I'm threatening this and then this. And then I have a double battery pin along the first rank and that would be, be uh pretty be pretty pleasant it's hard to talk when this position's so good
It was all stemmed from such a weird opening. H5, D5, G5. I feel a little bit bad, but even more good. Okay, where's the mate? Oh, there's a funny mate. Threatening maiden one. Or no, maiden two. <laughs> like, still completely stuck. Uh, am I mating? I'll take this first and then take here. Oh, it has one legal move, yeah. Threatening the knight as well. No, 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 no. I was a mouse up. My keyboard got in the way of the mouse. Oh no. My funny position is ruined. I'm so sad now. Never mind, checkmate. Okay. <laughs> As if you have to treat every blunder as a gambit. What just happened there? <laughs> White's doing fine, I think, after 92, and then the H Pongans are rolling. What a finish to the game. That's why you don't resign, because mouse slips do sometimes happen. I'm using a wireless keyboard, and somehow it shifted right next to my mouse, so I couldn't move oh, my mouse all the way. Line. Also quack. And my mouse like ran into the keyboard and then I release a click. I have to move my keyboard further away. Thank you, Bill Mays. Okay, so that was uh, H5 versus G3. Now what do I play? Let's start with E4 again. Um, can I play a gambit against this? It's a Puritz. Uh, how do I gambit against this opening? G4 at some point, probably. We'll start normally. Oh, is this is a, um, the Simon Williams, like, Black Lion type thing. Okay, I'll find a way to gambit. Can I gambit my queen? That would be the ultimate gambit. I'm going to gambit my queen. Oh no, my queen. Oh, it looks fun though. Okay, so the king has two options. Regardless of where it moves, I'll play a knight e6. And now I'm down a queen, but I have a knight and bishop in black's crib. And now I probably just take the bishop. I could take it with my knight even. Take it with knight or king. Uh, probably king. I want to keep my knight developed. So I lose casting rights. Okay. Oh, I want to have fun here. E5. It's all about having fun. <laughs> okay, so we trade once we avoid trades of knights the goal is to line up everything on the e-file uh do i gamut another pawn why not oh black might want to trade with me again i'm trying to get rid of pawns because they get in the way of, of things i got rid of my queen kind of for the same reason my king was jealous of the queen sitting on d1. Now I probably want to get a rook to d1. Uh, do I bond cloud? What's bond cloud? The goal is to create a totem pole on the e file, bishop e3, etc. This is such a funny position. This is even funnier than the previous game. And then the game before that. Also, this knight is kind of trapped. Good evening from Germany. Good evening. Good to see you, Eric. 
Good to see you too, Triswiss. G5. I don't know if I want to take the knight. Maybe I play rook d1 first and then pin the knight. Or... All I need to do is check the king to... to mate. Okay, let's start with this move. Thank you for doing what you do. Oh. Are you referring to what I'm doing here? You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Yuland. Okay, so now the reason why I didn't take first, I didn't want the queen to open up because there'd be annoying spike checks. So now when I take, after takes, I keep initiative. And if black moves here to defend the knight, then it's made in one. Knight four to c5. It's amazing how all the squares around the king are controlled by my various things. Okay. The rook has entered the game. Uh, this is such a funny position. I think I'll put everything in the center. I'm controlling the center now. I'm also hitting the king and defending my rook. I was moved at a lot of things. Uh, I have this move. And so many more things I want to do. Let's repeat once. Okay, where's my mate? Bishop b2. Bishop b2. Oh no, my rook! My rook's not defended. Ah, knight e8. Wait, am I not winning? Oh, I thought I was mating. I forgot the knight's not defended. Oh no. I actually blundered there. I really thought I was mating. I got a little bit overboard. It's okay, I still have rook and the bishop pair. And then knight on d8. I hope this is still okay. What is going on here? Bishop here? Wait, what? I'm so confused now. Check. Made this move first. I e4 is a blind spot for me. Uh, check. 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 Uh, this might end really badly. I'll be really sad if I lose this. I think I'll just play this move. The knight's pinned and the queen is still restricted. I'm controlling all these squares. The bishop also can't really get out. Which means the rook can't get out. <laughs> it's, like, all of black's things are stuck. Despite the fact I'm down a queen and rook for a bishop. Black's up 11 points of material. But I'm the one controlling more squares. It's not even easy for black to sack anything. Yeah, I think I'll just calmly play a3. And now I'm threatening... I think this is made in two threat. Oh, this should be force mate. Huh. 
no mercy anymore. There's king. Okay, there's two different king moves. I have king here, I have knight c5. And here, and I fork. This is such a funny game. I have king here, I play. I just control the center. What a game. Uh, check. Oh, it's a fun windmill. Check. I'm not interested in winning the queen. Check. Check. Okay, maybe I am. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure I miss force mate somewhere around here. Right? Where's my mate? Knight d4 check. Ah, uh, Sockfish just wants me to develop <laughs> and then play this move. Yeah, I should not have been too fancy there. Oh, I did have Force Mate. Wait, this was brilliant. I just didn't see King Digs Knight, so I kind of freaked out. I had F3 check. But Ben Feingold told me never play f3. g4, king f4, and 90, 96 checkmate. That would have been so beautiful. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> At least I still won that game. What do we call this? Oh no, my queen gambit. Or epic beautifulness. So these are my games so far. Stafford Gambit versus uh, Band Engine User. These will be the future YouTube video chapters. Okay, so I'm four out of four. If we include that first game that I got refunded. Uh, let's play D4. Let's find a game. Why is everyone playing D6? I'll play this move. I was gambling a pawn, but now, now I'm using the pawn for, for goodness. Okay, we have another like really weird opening. This is like a queen's gambit combined with a grab. Okay, this is my uh, second attempt at sacking a pawn. So I, I play g6 to try and uh, yeah create a, a tender point in black's position. Now the only way to defend the pawn is to play king f7. And now, now I have ideas of knight e5. Play c5 and still going for knight e5. Okay, already looking really, really pleasant. I could take with queen... He'll take with knight. I could snag the rook. But my knight is probably more valuable than the rook. So let's play h5. Okay, this pawn is attacked. Bishop e3. I just want a queenside castle, get a rook to g1, etc. Okay, I could win a pawn here. And then lose a pawn. And then queen c4. I think it's okay. Oh, I'm hitting c7 as well. These games are so funny so far. It's been a while since I've done one of these like streams where I just try and play a gamut every game. But this is too much fun. Okay, now I can play this move... Where's my mate? I could also take this first. Hi, can you play the young 4 bxg 4 qh 4 Stafford one day? Oh, um... I'll have to look at that a little bit more closely. 
But probably. I could take the other rook. Maybe I should. I could also just take the pawn. Someday I want a castle. But now the bishop's attacked. I could castle kingside. I could, I could take this thing. And then take this thing. Yeah, it was a good choice uh, from earlier, keeping my knight on the board. Okay, another delayed bong cloud. Not quite, not quite the real thing, but close enough. Okay, I could force a queen trade. Uh, I might as well. Up a rookie or win a free queen. Oh, 94. What a move. I wonder if Black had seen that from afar. Wow. One whole year. Oh, happy one whole year. Wait, this isn't so simple? I'll start with this move. Wait, what do I do with my thing? E4. Maybe this move first. Mm. I could play this move. I thought it was going to be an easy win, but now my knight is stuck. If I have this move, it should be okay. As long as the knight can get out, I'll be up the exchange. Yeah, and now I'm ready for this and then probably some invasion. A big problem for black is the knight is tied down to the pawn. Okay. This move. Maybe this move first. I have king b7, I play a4 and trap the rook. Okay, where's my mate? It's really close. I'm threatening mate in one. So knight of six, I have this move. And now this move. There's rookie seven. I can take this. I came here at a good time. Oh, welcome. You came at a very good time. It's just a question how to finish things off. Uh, if Knight moves his mate. A, okay. <laughs> oh. What was this game? That was a fun game. Back to tournament. I don't even know what to call these, like these gambit things. G4, G5, like a G6. Okay, working my way up in the world. Um, if I want to win this tournament, I should probably start berserking. Would you play a 52 game match against Ding? I'd be happy to if he if he wants to invite me to a, a tournament. Okay, let's play B5. Someone said O'Sullivan Gambit, so I'm gonna try and transpose into an O'Sullivan. Aw. No O'Sullivan for me. I'm still gambling a pawn though. I think I'll play E6. C3. Opponent's playing very safely. Do I take on E4? 
Taking on e4 isn't so good, though. Maybe I'll start with b4. a3. Oh, I really want to play this move. We need to invent the Rosen Gambit. Yeah, although gambits aren't invented, they're discovered. Except maybe some of these gambits <laughs> are invented. Oh. This is really risky. I'm playing International Master. If G3, I'll be happy, but there's king moves. Yeah, I thought the point was now I have queen f4. So even against a fellow I am, I'm getting some absolute uh, craziness. White's taking time here. Oh, I want to play b3. Well, my queen is attacked by the bishop. And the king might even hide on a2 eventually. So I'll take with check. If bishop d3, I take this pawn. Queen d3. Yeah, I think now I throw in this move. This is so funny. I want to play this move now. Ah, but then queen e2. I just don't want white to ruin my fun. Oh no, there's no queen e2. There's bishop d2. I played this move. Uh, okay. I'm going to be worse here, but it's all about white's king being lightly out in the open without too many clothes on. Usually the king likes to be sheltered by its pawns, but here it's the king sheltering the pawns. Yeah, my idea was this move. But then here... Takes takes. Thank you, Eric, for funny and instructive chess. Hope to see you in Reykjavik Open. Oh. Hey, Icelandic noob. Welcome back. I've been meaning to DM you, but uh yeah, thanks for, for being here. I'll be yeah, I'll be going to Iceland at the end of this month. We also have an Iceland command if there's anyone that wants to learn more about the tournament. Uh, there should be a live broadcast every day. It's also an open tournament, so... Um, yeah, I think there's there's almost 300 players signed up now. I'm trying to get all the crazy, weird chess out of my system before I play <laughs> no TB tournament. Okay, well, b3 is now a bit weak. Uh, queen f5, bishop d3. Is rook b8? It's a weird position, because, like, the normal principles of, like, developing and castling... They're still somewhat relevant, but not as relevant when there's a king here, and um, it calls for a lot of like quick initiative. I want to play this move. It'd be cool to like sack a queen and then mate with a pawn, but I don't think that's ever gonna happen. I could play f5, bishop d6.
Maybe I'll go for a c5 eventually. So There's still a situation where White's King isn't completely out of the woods. Have this move. Yeah, no way I'm trading queens. Now this or this can come with tempo next move. Unless white plays g4. g4, queen h3. Oh, but then bishop f1. Uh-oh. Oh, but then queen h6. Knight here. This is really terrifying. Okay, I'll play this move. I think g4 would have just crushed me. Yeah, I'm still down a piece. Four a pawn. I have this move. also have this move. Oh, what's going on? Okay, I'll play... I'll play this. So I can't castle because then I get mated. But the king, is, I think, is somewhat safe in the center. Do I sack my queen? No. G5. Oh, queen B5. White really wants a queen trade. I have this move. This move looks fun. I'm going to be losing the G pawn, but then rook F8... Oh, my knight! Okay, we're treating it as a gambit. I honestly didn't see that. And my pawn. Oh, no. My favorite gambit is the England gambit. Ooh. Hi, Eric. Nice to Hi. see you again. Nice to see you, too. Pajaker, welcome back. Got the Icelandic crowd in the house. Okay, I'm down two pieces here. Two knights for a pawn, but one knight is pinned, this bishop's not developed. I'm ready to open the c file. Check. Yeah, this is not gonna end well, I don't think. I am having so much fun playing the pawns Yanni as white Ooh. and the Sicilian dragon as black. Ooh. You have helped me so much. Oh! Can you return the favor and help me so much in this position? <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble now. I think I've been in trouble for a while, but... Okay, let's try and fight. Got my connect four. Oh no. Yes, always play F6. I can't play F6 anymore. <laughs> Problem is my king is cut off too. Actually, there's a lot of problems in this position. Okay, well played from white. Oh no, my king. I didn't mean to gambit my king. That was a cool game, though. I probably should not have given away the knight. Uh, in hindsight, yeah, maybe I should have taken and mm, only been down one piece. But life goes on. So that was... Uh, Attempted O'Sullivan B5 against I am. So we're approaching the halfway point. Is this where I start tilting and playing even more crazy gambits? Okay, England gambit just for everyone who says England. Um, 
I'll play mainline England. Okay, so this is like the mainline England where I give away a queen. Oh no, my queen. The point is to get some kind of cool counterplay. Usually involving, I believe it's this move. Maybe bishop e5 is a bit more common, but um, yeah, I'm down a queen for bishop, knight, and pawn. There's rook e3 here, which looks kind of terrifying. But opponent doesn't go for it. Yeah, this is Amon Hamilton's unbeatable gambit. Like he he made this very popular. He actually played this once in a tournament game too. Like a serious tournament game. Uh just castle. And I don't really want to trade minor pieces, although I might have to. Um, yeah, not what I want to do. But I keep the dark square bishop, defend the pawn. It's my idea, g6, f5. Yeah, Amon's one game in this opening. It was a St. Louis like GM invitational tournament. And it was like it lasted over a hundred moves. Game was against Grandmaster Steven Zerk. At some point the position was drawn. But Amon did end up losing the game. So uh got the bishop pair. We might see this move. After which I, I don't want to trade. And yeah, now, now it, maybe it's just a matter of some gradual improvements. H5, H4 is one idea. King G7, Rook H8. I'm up about a minute on the clock, so I I guess I sacked a queen for a time advantage. So my idea, yeah, bishop g4. If I can ever provoke f3, then this diagonal becomes a lot more uh, valuable for me. And if the queen moves, there might be knight f3 or even bishop f3. Thank you, Magelli. Uh, what to do? A5? I don't know what to do here. F5. Maybe Rook here. I'm dreaming of someday playing this, this, and then Knight C4. I'll start with A5. Ooh, so White took the pawn. Okay, now I can play d5. I did see the pawn was hanging. Um, but now the bishop is probably going to regret its its decisions. Because if takes and I, I play knight of three, and this would be a pork. Because there's a pin and a fork. And meanwhile, all these squares are weak around the king. So let's have some fun here. I could start with this. Knight f3 check was also possible, but I think bishop f3 um, is just a, a better piece on f3. And the knight can do other things in the position, like maybe this move. If queen f6, I'll play rook d6. Or no, my bishop's hanging. Queen f6, maybe knight d2. Okay.
it's incredible like how how white being up a queen can be a bit overpowered by the black pieces but just as i say that my knight is is really lacking squares there's bishop e2 I just sack the knight and then I'm seriously consider sacking the knight here, but it's not a good move. Yeah, I think I'll play rook c6. Idea takes and then I'll take back with a rook to hit the queen. And uh no, I will not sign your baby. I only sign chess boards and uh, very occasionally posters. But I'm not really a baby signer. Bishop e2. Bishop here. My bone. Oh, I was gonna say my plan is here and here, but unfortunately rooks can't move like knights. So c2 is probably a goner. The ultimate plan is to teleport my rook to h1. But it takes some effort. Oh, should I make a Rosen poster? I could make a Rosen poster. Would people buy that? Wow, if I take this pawn, there's this move. I used to have a banana poster. It was like the chess banana. Mm. I'm so conflicted here. But now, okay, so I have rook and bishop for queen and pawn. And white has finally played f3, but I'm probably going to lose this pawn. But maybe it's okay, because then I win this pawn. There's one check, and then king h7. If queen f6, I probably play bishop e6. Now, no more good checks. Idea rook e2 and then threatening maiden 3. Uh, let's be careful here. White might go for a mate. Like rook d8. The thing is, I'm going to be the one mating first. Because bishop c4. Now this is not a good move to pre-move because white does have rook d3. Oh, I missed maiden one. Oh, oops. I missed maiden one because I saw maiden like one, two, three, four. <laughs> I also missed maiden two. Rook c1 was maiden two. Rook e1 was maiden one. What to do? I have to be a little bit flashy. Okay, back, back on a win. What was that? England, Gambit, oh no, my queen. Have to make a Mon Hamilton proud. Let's berserk. And now let's play, oh, the Rosen Gambit. What's up, Irene? I'll play a Danish Gambit. There's gotta be some people that like the Danish. Or like Danish pastries. Okay, now playing a Goring Gambit. The one issue with playing Gambits is sometimes people just decline them. I'm trying to insist. Take my pawn. Take it, take it. You know you want to. Thanks for the great content. Oh, thank you, D. Freeman. I'm just going to leave the pawn here. Someday Black will take it. 
someday. But maybe the day will never come. I mean, I could try sacking more pawns, but let's be, let's be normal first. B4, play B4. I'm really furious here. Black's not taking the pawn. I've never been so angry. I can't trap the bishop anymore. I'm threatening this pawn. If castling, I'll play bishop h6. Some idea e6 as well. Now, if I play f4, then black will be incentivized to take and check. Uh, e6 now? e6. The whole game, these pawns are going to have a staring contest. Who's going to blink first? I'm close to blinking. Takes. I want to keep my knight here. I don't want to blink. I have this move. Maybe this move. Is white going to play d3? But then I take the knight. Oh, no. Oh, that was a good move. Wait, this is really bad. Hey, Eric. I have a question for you. I have been playing chess for about a year now Ooh. and can't break 800. Oh no. Any tips? Um, don't hang your pieces. <laughs> it's actually a legit tip. At that level, like, a lot of it is just minimizing blunders. Oh, uh, what do I do? And I berserk this game. Black finally took the pawn. I'm so sad now, though. I'm just down a whole rook, but I'm treating it as a gambit. This rook is doing nothing in the corner, and now I take and I'm threatening stuff. Really, I'm just threatening a single check, but hopefully black panics and loses. What am I threatening? Thank you, Anton. Oh, and thank you, Mr. Weeks TV. Uh, yeah, it's easier to in answer questions opinion, when I'm not in time trouble. What are the best openings to play without castling? Again, it's easier to answer questions when I'm not in time trouble and not down a rook. And you can play any opening without castling, but in some openings you'll get more punished than others. Check. I'm just gambling a pawn, because why not? Let's go, it's a triple pork, quadruple pork. I have 10 seconds though. Oh no, my time.
I'm getting a scam call. Let's go. Let's go. I miss Maiden one. I may have missed Maiden one. <laughs> But I got the job done. Oh, I missed Maiden 1. Queen G5 was mate. I was freaking out. I was a long time. Okay. What opening was that? That was a Danish Gambit staring contest. Okay. Back in business, baby. I have 21 tournament points. Leader has 44. Uh, I'll play whatever this is. I had this similar thing earlier, but not quite the same. I tried gambiting the G-Pawn. Eric the Multitasker, already making YouTube chapter names. Yeah, I'm still going to have to add timestamps, but it's okay. Also, this knight was just trapped. Okay, so this is an opening success. I, I want a piece after after nine moves. I want to play this move. Look at this move. It's so pretty. And then this. And after takes, 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 there's takes. It's such a funny line. So now I'm up a whole rook. Yeah, black wants to castle. <clears throat> I'd like to prevent black from castling, but it's not so easy. I think I'll just move back and enjoy my position up a rook. Let me trade some bishops. Ooh, let's give black funny pawns. Okay, black has uh, Tetris piece pawns now. I'm losing C2. Maybe I should have thought more thoroughly. But then I win this. Okay, now here. I just want a castle. I also kind of want to give black quadruple pawns, but that's probably a bit more difficult. Take this. Okay, no quadruple pawns for black. No more Tetris piece for black. Oh no, my rook. Oh no. But it's uh, it's like early Christmas. You receive presents and you give presents. And then you receive more presents. As long as you weren't naughty. Yeah, if takes, I, I check here and then... Uh, it's almost smothered mate. Yeah, queen d6 holds on to the pawn, but then f4. Uh, queen d6 is less fun. I have this move. This knight is pinned. What to do here? Queen... I'm up a full rook, so I shouldn't be like too crazy. There's this move. Takes, takes, takes. Maybe this move. Defending F2. So after takes, takes, F2 is defended, E4 is defended. This knight is actually really nicely placed on D3.
The king has more breathing room now. Okay, still up a full rook. Was I ever down material this game? Oh, I was down the pawn very temporarily until the knight got trapped. Okay. Um, yeah, this is completely winning for white. E6 will be the next next victim. Uh, be careful. King f8. So is white's or black's running made in two or made in one. Not even made in two. So as long as I'm giving checks. Maybe this move. I'm defending from afar. Is what we call discover defense. I just want to set up smother mate. Oh, how do you send a message with Prime? The first step is to sub with Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free. You usually have to sub a few months in a row to send a sub message. Okay. Oh, it's really close to mate, but not quite. But is it? So if rook takes, it's mating. If here, it's not quite mating, which is kind of frustrating, which also kind of rhymes. I think I'll start with this move. Wait, did my knight just come from there? My knight just came from there. But the idea is I'm blocking this check. Wait. Uh, how do I do this? Check. Wait, I've only played knight of seven once, right? Okay. Um, so we're not repeating. If I check here... There's a cool idea. Ah, I can, okay. I don't want to play 95 because that, that would actually repeat. But I can play this. So now I block the queen. And when I take, I'll pin the rook. Um, in the other line, I was scared of rook f2, but the rook is pinned. And now if the queen or the rook takes, then... Okay, here I'm getting my... Uh, I'm hoping I'm getting some other mate. And if takes, then it's, it's still winning. Yeah, all I want to do is smother mate, but black's not giving me the satisfaction. We might see queen f4. Hoping that I don't see queen takes f4. Yeah, Carlson once tried this against me, but it didn't work. Okay, uh, what do we call this? Bronstein Gambit? The Bronstein Gambit. But Black declined it. Black was just pre-moving in the opening. Okay. Bronstein Gambit almost leads to smothered mate. Is there? Ooh. How do I play against this? I think Jonathan Schrantz has a video on how to how to deal with this. It's hard to gambit when blacks or white's not uh, developing the bishops. But here we go. Play this move. Nah, let's play this move. And then this move. Is this even a gambit? My queen's not hanging here. 
I can play this move. Uh, I think I have to take the bishop, even though I don't want to. Wait, now I'm the one winning a pawn. What just happened? I'm up a pawn. Okay, I think I'll gambit back. Nah, let's keep taking stuff. I guess this game I'm the one accepting the gambit. Uh, oh, I really want to do things with my rook. Castle? Wait. Nah, let's develop. I gotta play a lot quicker. Because uh, we both berserked. Time is gonna be really relevant. I like the structure though. We could trade rook b8 first. Okay, we'll trade. Knight c7. Idea knight d5. Probably this move. Mm. Yeah, this move. Yeah, it's slightly confusing position, but I do have a nice pawn. This square is very, uh, it would be very nice for a knight. Also this square, it's two outpost squares. Threatening the fork. Maybe had this move, although it doesn't quite work. I think I'll play this move. Idea c4, I'm defending d4. And if takes, I take because there's a pin. I'm leaving this pawn left alone, but hopefully for good reason. Oh no, my rook. Yeah, if we trade rooks, then I'll be threatening maiden one. Hmm. Gotta move a lot quicker. Oh, this is a funny position. The king is so close to getting mated. Uh, but where's my mate? Let's go. Okay. That was a weird one. That was like a gambit, double fian shadow, weird gambit, weird time scramble thing. Okay. 16th place. So I have one loss, one legitimate loss, and then one loss to an engine user. I'll berserk again. This time I'll go back to e4 and I'll play a wing gambit. 
Thank you, Fakadori. Okay, Wing Gambit combined with Grand Prix attack. Uh, probably not a great combination. But I do have center. So bishop d3. Can't complain with this. I might play h4 soon. I'll take with knight. Maybe I should have taken with bishop. Probably should have taken with bishop. Although maybe not, because the bishop is controlling, defending f4. Okay, hitting the queen. Queen b4, bishop d2. Queen a7. Then I need to find a way to defend bishop b4. Might start with this. Because if we trade bishops, then my knight has a um, just easier access to d6. And the queen is still hit. Oh, request for England. I already played in England so far. I'm trying to play a different gambit every every game. Uh, these are all the, the different things I've played so far. Okay, this one's working out quite nicely. F five. Idea queen g five. Wow, f6. Let's play c4. The pawn tension must be increased. Also, my pawns must smile. Oh, I don't know what to do. There's too many fun looking options. There, there. I really don't know what to do. Maybe just this move. Pawns are actually smiling now. I'm giving back the d5 square, but this knight is really well reinforced. And now the plan is to take play this and eventually mate. Even if it involves like giving away a bishop. Mm. Not sure if it works. I want to make it work. I should probably save the bishop first. I really wanted to play queen h6, but the problem was uh, knight takes g3 and pawn takes c5, and then my knight would be loose. But with bishop e4, now I... The bishop's actually really useful here. And the pawn survives. At least for the moment. Thank you, Mokussin. And now this knight's pinned and tied down to defending the other knight. And now I play this move. So I'm threatening this, this, and mate. I don't really see how black defends. The king can't really run away unless if, like this move is played. And then I'll still win the rook. Oh, I could have played queen takes b4 because this and this were pinned, right? Okay, here we go. If here it's made in one, and if here it's made in one, okay, that was a fun game. That was a Sicilian wing gambit. 
leading to 23 move checkmates. Sicilian wing gambit leads to 23 move win. Okay, 13th place. Leader has 54 points. Berserking and winning a lot, but just lost her streak. I might play the, the person in first place, actually. I'll probably berserk. Oh, never mind. Still berserking. Okay. Uh. 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 I want to play a gambit, but is this a gambit? This might be a gambit. Can I just sack a knight? Let's sack a knight for the lulz. Because then I'll get. Um, it's like a Halloween. I'll get a lot of pawns. Maybe this move. And then take. And then this move. Okay. <laughs> I'm down a piece, but I have a lot of center pawns. Actually, just two center pawns. But a lot of supporting pawns. Uh, I was about to lose a queen. That could have been tragic. I might have to play a6 here. Also play f5. F f5 is interesting. Allowing bishop b5? Wow, c4. What is c4? Move the queen back. Yeah, I might end up losing the pawn, but... Okay, maybe not. I was threatening this. Be very, very quiet. Ah, I was hoping for this move. Oh. Okay. I think I'll still play this, because why not? And then queen a6. I was really hoping for knight d7, and then I'd, I'd be winning the white queen, but... Okay. Um, it still feels like I have some compensation. Delayed reverse bond cloud. My rooks are connected. Pawn is now defended. This pawn is now attacked. F6 is almost... There's a funny line. Bishop e2 defending the pawn. F6 trapping the queen. How else does white defend the pawn? Please play king e2 or bishop e2. Oh, queen e2. I play this move. I think I'm going to sack a pawn. Because I much prefer if the d-file opens. Even though I'm... I just gave away a key center pawn. Uh, the fact that d-file is open is... It's nice because I have a target on d2 now. Now f6. Objectively, I'm much worse here. But practically, oh no, my rook. Yeah, I'm regretting giving away a pawn on d4, so I'm trying to get that pawn back to d4. But white's not taking it. If I take... I gotta watch my time. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've changed my mind. I'd rather save my rooks. B5 incoming? Threat is B4. D2 is uh, the ultimate target. Wow. Wow. Okay, somehow this is working out, even if I don't deserve it. I'll put the bishop all the way in the corner. 
and hopefully White forgets about it. Uh, don't hurt me. Please forget about my bishop. Yes. Okay. Hey, I, I'm using both of the corners. Long distance relationship. Okay. That was a very powerful long distance relationship. Uh, what gambit was that? That was like a alakine. Weird, alakine, leads to powerful, long-distance relationship. These are going to be some weird YouTube chapters. If you're watching in the future on YouTube, let me know if you've made it this far, and let me know what your favorite game was so far. Also, if you're watching on Twitch, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe with Prime. Uh, oh, I forgot to Gambit. Okay, let's play this move. I tried to play Benoni Gambit. Got a lot of people here. Good to see people. Okay, what is this opening? I'm just moving pawns. Let's keep moving pawns. What is a Rosen Trophy? There's a Rosen Trophy if you move pawns for the first... How many moves? Is it 12? I think it's 12 moves. Oh no. Oh, I have F6 though. Okay, White had made in two there. <laughs> White had made in two. It's not the bishop. Stick. Oh. I thought bad things were going to happen to me. Uh, the problem is I'm still losing here. Maybe this move. This is a really bad position. I hope there's no small children watching. Or small animals. King of seven, I guess. Okay. I mean, my rook's hanging. But if white takes a rook, then I win the knight. So best case scenario, I'm down the exchange and down a ton of time. Rook a7. Queen e8. And queen e8 might actually make some sense. Don't hurt me. Don't do it. Don't you dare. If we trade queens, I undevelop my king. Okay, hitting the queen and defending the rook. Still attacking the knight as well. And somehow this knight's defended, so there's no queen b6 to counterattack. There is that move that I kind of forgot about. Mm. I'm in big trouble here, still. Queen e6. A3. Bishop D4, I'll take it. There's also Knight G5 here, which terrifies me as well. Okay, now the Knight and Bishop are hanging. Even though I might be developing my king a little bit. Mm. 
I don't see mate. Might be getting mated. If g4, I ampassant, or I take with bishop. Don't hurt me. Okay, let's defend. Probably should not have taken the, that rook. I couldn't help myself though. Wait, it's up three pawns. Oh, my knight. Yeah, unfortunately, the tricks didn't quite work there. You never know. Oh no, my king. Oh no. That was unfortunate. <laughs> I thought it was really close too. We, when we got to uh, this position, I was hitting the queen and threatening mate. But yeah, bishop f3 and c5 were good moves. Rook h1 was not stalemate. Uh, of course, this, this is my one last idea, but my king always has a square. Oh, to get a trophy, I need 12 move, 12 pawn moves and then a win. Oh no. 12 pawn move opening gambit. What to do? Oh, can you show the maiden two in the beginning? Uh, it was queen h5, rook h5, bishop takes h5, mate. Okay, let's play a tennis and gambit. Ten, what is this? Knight c6. Why is no one accepting my gambit today? A lot of people are declining things. Can I play this move? Uh, I just gambit a whole piece. I'm in the gamble the whole piece because there's one trap I'm seeing. And I strengthen my center too. Okay, I was hoping for bishop g4 and I get some compensation. Um, this is a little bit more speculative, but even though I'm down a piece, uh, I have center. Which maybe offers some compensation.
bishop here. Probably not wise to pre-move that. Mm. Okay. Try and lift the rook over. Yeah, this is not a good position. But this is what I get for, <laughs> for playing chess like this. Um, take, let's take in here. Yeah, my compensation is kind of just evaporating. Still some initiative though. B7 is a bit tender. Like can't castle queen side. Get both rooks to the center files. Black is, for the most part, underdeveloped. Wow. Okay, allowing queen h1. Okay, it's getting weird. It's getting really weird. The queen is kind of stuck now. Not completely stuck, but kind of stuck. Yeah. Uh, C4 is hanging. to do okay, this move. I don't think I'm getting mated. Or am I? I might be. Don't do it. I got mated. Oh no. Oh. I should play rook d2. Because I was I was threatening mate in two. But black was threatening mate in one. Oh no. Famous last words. I have 40 points. Leader has 60. Okay, I'll try and finish in top. Top ten. Let's let's have a goal. Top ten. Uh Tennyson, Gambit. Oh no, my pieces and King. Okay. Oh, this one again. Wait, how do I sack stuff? This. Ah, okay, let's have some fun. Oh no, my bishop. I mean, I'm going to win back multiple things. And by multiple things, I mean more than one thing. Okay, this, this is working out nicely. <laughs> it feels good when you try and like sack stuff and the opponent is, is the one winding up down a lot of material.
Okay, so I'm up on Rook, Knight, and Pawn for a Bishop. Okay, now I'm just up Rook and Pawn. Uh, I'll play King F1. Some idea. Mm. And the goal is to try and convert this quickly and cleanly. Or quickly and dirtily. That move I did not see coming. I have this move. I have to be careful here. Queen d3, king e1. I'm kind of making a mess out of this. C4. The most likely result is I went on time. Okay, I'll take the pawn. Defend the bishop. I don't have casting rights, sadly. I'm allowing rookie two. My king will find a safe haven, and the knight will survive. Ooh. If black plays this, I'm, I'm objectively not better here. It's objectively a draw. Okay. Oh, that was a weird one. That was early g5. Bishop f7 funness. Is funness a word? The state of foo. <laughs> oh, what is this? This is like a wayward queen attack. Oh, this is so fun. Oh! White gave me a taste of my own medicine. Wait, what just happened? We did the same thing to each other. What is this? I played this move? White's gonna play this. I can do the same thing. I can also do this first. I think I'll do this first. Attacking, defending, and still threatening. Well, then there's knight d2. Uh, what is this game? Oh, I should have taken with the pin. Take and check. White's queen is a bit stuck. What is happening this game? I'm up at night somehow. So that's good. I could take the bishop. I could also take here. Threatening this. The triple pork. Knight is pinned. Um, not meeting. I might as well. Of takes or is takes and takes. If I have to take this way. So I'm up a whole night. But the question is, how do I finish the attack? I want to lift the rook. Hmm. I 
what to do. There's a funny line. Um, that move is actually really annoying. There, there. Okay, I have a really, no, it doesn't work. I thought I had a funny idea. Maybe I'll just play this move. It's a sad move though. Oh, I have a funny idea. It doesn't work though. Or does it? It might work. No, it doesn't work. It's a funny line though. I'm losing my queen, but so is white. Now we're just getting an end game where I'm down a pawn and my knight's gonna be in the corner. What just happened? Oh, thank you, punter face. Uh, I guess I play a4. Ooh. And not too many options here. I have a four on three majority. This is probably going to be the last game. I have to be careful not to get mated in this first. I do not have seven. This is really risky. I'm asking to get checkmated basically. Don't maim me. Okay. Well, I had made in two there. Oh, so it's insane made in two. I'll share after the game. Oh, this is stressful. I think I'll play this move. So white, white could have played B3. B3 takes and then mate. I don't think I've ever seen that sort of pattern ever. And now B3 I take. And now I take. Oh no. Yeah, this game's not going to count for the tournament. Oh, that's a really good move. Before this move first. Knights are really tricky creatures. Also very majestic creatures. Holding on. Feels like I'm walking a tightrope here. I'll fall off at any moment. Good move. Really good move.
what to do. White played well. I could promote to... How do I do it? Rook? There's cases where you should promote to Rook to... And hope they pre-move something, but... <laughs> this is a sad ending. Uh, but who knows? We see a miracle? Oh, I got opposition. Good game. This is uh, the game where we both like did the thing to each other. And I was up a piece. But after h4, I kind of just froze. Good trick to know in the future. I, I don't know if you can do this every time. Like this... Because usually Black still has a pawn here. It's pretty rare that Black has played g5 on move 1. I think after h4 I was in a a bit of a bind. Maybe Black is still better somehow. I had to find rook d8. Rook d8 here. Ah, uh, yeah, I considered rook d8. Rook d8 is nice because... Um, Basically, there were two issues with h5. One was this potential skewer, but if here, I just move the king. The other issue was after takes takes, my knight would be hanging, but the rook on d8 defends the knight, and if c3, I move back and defend the rook. Missed most of the stream. Will this go on YouTube? Uh, yes. <laughs>